ultimate roast beef. It's going to change your life. I've come to one of the best butchers in London. I'm okay. harsh. I'm okay. Harsh. Uh, you flipping off. Right, go on straight in. You can. You can. <laughs> the question is, is it the best beef you've ever tried? Now, when I had my restaurant, creating the ultimate beef was an absolute obsession of mine. I spent hundreds of hours in my kitchen perfecting the ultimate roast. I'm going to share all those tips with you in this video. First up, let's go to the butcher. To deliver the ultimate roast beef, you can't go to the supermarket. You've got to go somewhere where they're going to give you incredible provenance, that it's been hung for a really long time, that it's dry aged, and that you're getting a rare breed. I come to one of the best butchers in London, the original artisan butcher, Ginger Pig, who are going to sort me out a beautiful hunk of beef. Right, there's four or five different joints that you can use from the cow to do roast beef. The most expensive is fillet. It lives within the rib cage of the beast and so it's completely protected and very tender. It's the most expensive cut, but to be honest, it's not got enough fat to deliver for that long roasting process. Next one is the rump. Now this sits at the top of the bum, just below the top side. It's a great joint, it's got lots of flavour, but again, it's not the Mac Daddy. Then we come on to the sirloin. The sirloin is further up the back, around about this sort of territory. A great joint, and you can have it as a steak. It's more expensive than rum, but it's not the Mac Daddy. The Mac Daddy is this guy, the four rib. It's the absolute Mac Daddy. And look at it, to the untrained eye, it looks like it's been forgotten, like it's been dropped behind the sofa and forgotten about but it hasn't. It's a piece of art. It's absolutely beautiful because look what's inside. This is a 90 day aged, beautiful, beautiful, rare breed Longhorn. It is so precious and so perfect. And why is it perfect? Because it's got this beautiful layer of fat on the outside that's going to base the joint. It's got marbling all the way throughout. It's cooked on the bone. That's so important. It's going to make all the difference and it's going to get moisture and taste as it cooks. This is going to cost you half a week's earnings, but it doesn't matter because this is the ultimate roast beef. Okay, the first bit of prep that we've got to do with the rib is that we've got this sort of fatty ligament here that's really tough and as it cooks it will contract, which will mean that it will cause the meat to contract to make it tough. So we've got to peel off the top and cut that out. So it's vital that you get that out. That's so tough and it's just, it's like plastic and it will just totally ruin your joints. So make sure you get that out. Okay, I've got some garlic, some shallots and some thyme in a baking tray. I'm gonna drop this on top. And now I'm gonna put two tablespoons of vegetable oil over the joint. And now we add our seasoning, salt, pepper and mustard powder. moment of truth. Let's get this beauty in the oven. Okay, now this is the key and where everybody gets it wrong, how long you cook it for. This is a four kilo joint of beef, so it needs to be cooked at 230 for 40 minutes to get the real gnarly sizzle going on. Then you drop it down to 160 and you cook it for 10 minutes more per 500 grams. So this guy's in there for about an hour and a half. Okay, the moment of truth. My God, look at that beauty. Right, let's slice this baby open and see what's inside. No, you don't. No, you don't. It's the biggest mistake that everybody makes. This is a four kilo joint of beef. You've got to wait at least an hour. You've got to let it rest for that time. At the moment, it's really tense and stressed. If you slice it open, it will push out all the juice and it will become dry. You've got to let it rest. You've got to chill out. You've got to be at peace because the beauty is coming in an hour. Thank you. 
Oh, Gordon, you shouldn't have. Oh, thank you. That's nice, isn't it? Oh, Hester, and you shouldn't have. That's really... Delivery from Food Basket. Oh, thank you. Jamie. Too much. Okay, this work of art has rested an hour. I'm going to slice it with a carver. That's a long serrated knife. And you need long movements as if you're using a saw, not cutting movements. Slice it open. Oh my God. Oh, oh. So I'm just taking it off the bone now so I can slice it better. Right, okay, so this bit's a little bit different this week. We're gonna ask people to grade it out of 10. So, uh, these are my new friends. Hello. So, the question is, is this the best beef you've ever tried? Okay, so, madame, is it the best beef you've ever tried? Fender? Best beef you've ever tried? Best beef you've ever tried? Good job, two nil. This is a bit of a challenge because you've just unsubscribed from Food Busker, haven't you? Right, I'm going to give you this and see if, just try that, 90 day, dry aged, rare breed, river beef. But what I want to know is, is it the best beef you've ever tried? No. <gasps> what do you give it out of 10? I'd certainly give that a 7. 7 out of 10? Absolutely. I'd score a higher. 8 for me. 8. Okay, I'm okay. Okay. I'm okay. You're flipping off. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just trust me. Straight in. Tender. A little greasy now. Greasy. Holy shit! You can't win. Um. But how much do you think? Out of ten, what would you grade it? Five-ish. Five. Five. Okay. Let's give you another slice. Nah, no, I'm good. Man. You're good. Okay, Chief. See you later. See, this is it. People don't know what good beef is. They think that fat is bad, and it's not. It's vital to the beef. Is this the most tender beef you've ever tried? How much out of 10? Ten out of 10. British? British. So the question is, is this the best beef you've ever tried? Is your mom about? Oh, okay, it's gonna be fine. Okay, so that's it. Here you go. Go on, that's it. Go, on, go for the small one. Younger brother, flipping egg. Right, go on, straight in. You can. You can. <laughs> what do you think it is out of ten? Nine. Nine. Ten. Is it the best beef you've ever tried? Yes. Oh, are you? Is it the best beef you've ever tried? Here we go. Let's see. Excellent. Good. It's most fantastic. It tastes epic. Good fat? It's good fat. The, the fat's really nice. Really soft and tender. It melts away. It's beautiful. Exactly. What a beautiful beef. Out of ten. Nine and a half. Nine and a half from Chef. How about that? And is it the best beef you've ever tried? Possibly, yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, brother. Awesome. Thanks, nice. mate. See you, see you see later. Cool. Excellent. It's really nice. Stuff. Cool. Good on you. Ultimate roast beef, follow the tips, it's going to change your life. And subscribe, people. Look at it.